Yeah, so uh, this is my four month update apparently, but uh, I'm almost five months, so my mum is not very good at the uh, keeping up to date with these. Also, we were just having a bit of a play session, so I'm a bit tired and grumpy, so apologies about that. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as Lachlan was telling you, this is his four month update. It is a bit, pretty much almost five months, I'm afraid. This month has been crazy. It's just flown by, it's just completely and utterly flown by, so... Anyway, let's talk about you, shall we? First up, wait, we are still on that classic second baby syndrome where I'm barely getting him weighed. But he was seen at the doctor for a silent reflux and sort of roughly weighed. And, oh no, wait, actually I did get you weighed, didn't I? Once. And you were 7.5 kilos. Yay! He's definitely so much heavier now, like just picking him up, getting him in and out of the car seat, getting him in and out of the pushchair. It's just more of an effort. Either that or I've gotten a lot weaker, one or the other. It's probably both actually. Size wise we have completely given up on zero to three months. We seem to be in zero to three months for like a very long period of time and now we're into three to six months and they don't feel like they're gonna last very long. It feels like he's just growing and growing and growing. It's also like where one shop's completely different from another shop but we are mainly in three to six months now. Six to nine months in Zara because they are Tiny. So his routine, that hasn't changed that much since last month to be honest, so between um, 5 and 7 he gets up for a feed but usually, hopefully, try and get him back to sleep and then he kind of stays asleep until we're up getting ready and getting Isla ready for nursery. Then if it's a nursery day we all have to get up and out of the house and take Isla to nursery for about 8 and then we come back and he usually has a big feed then, we have a little bit of a play, he obviously has his medicine and then I try to get him to nap but pfft, it's kind of half and half at the moment that he'll do it. Then if he's had a nap, then he will get up and need fed immediately straight away. And we usually, at the moment, we're having a lot of dirty nappies. It's probably to do with some little toothy perks that want to come through. So we're going through a lot of nappies in between, especially the morning at the moment. So yeah, after lunch, he has another play or we try and go out and about. We go for a walk if we're not seeing friends. Um, just to get us some fresh air and get us out the house, So eh? Although today we just had a little play session in here because we had too much to do. And then I try my best to get him to go down for a nap kind of around two o'clock so that he's not too awake for bedtime. But I think still at this age he's supposed to be napping so much more than he is. Like I was asleep 75% of the time at this age but you are the opposite way around. <coughs> then after that nap we usually have to rush off and get Isla or Rob if he's back from work he'll go get Isla and I'll feed Blackland. And then we have about an hour, an hour and a half family time. Isla gets to play with him, we have some snacks, well not you yet, and just generally have time together. Then it's the bedtime bath time routine and I'm much better at getting him in a routine now and he's having a bath a lot more. Not every night yet, I think that will come soon but yeah, he's almost getting bathed every night now. And I think it is helping with his sleep because he was doing well. He was going down at like, he was starting to bring it earlier, bring it forward. Um, well, he was starting to go down at around eight o'clock and that was great and he'd sleep through till six. But now he's kind of, oh, it's all over the place again. So we're trying to implement the whole bath, quiet time, feed and then bed. That's sort of what we're doing at the moment. I do have a video up actually of our new routine so I'll pop the link to that below. And then we try and get him to sleep. So. Like last night, he was great. He went down straight away. Other nights, it can take up to an hour. It's just really all over the place. You're very unpredictable compared to what your sissy wissy was. You sit here for a minute. Oh, Mr. Man. Hi. So I've already mentioned sleep, but yeah, his sleep's a bit all over the place and not that great. He's still a very light sleeper, so any noises, like if you creep into the room to try and get something, he wakes up. And it's just it's so different from Ireland. I think I've said that about a thousand times already in this video, but yeah. His sleep is very mixed, but we are trying our best for it. We're persevering. We're doing a little bit of control crying and I'm trying my utmost not to feed him to sleep or rock him to sleep. Um, never did any of that with Isla and she's such a good sleeper now so I'm trying to follow the same path we did last time but just with a much more needy baby. Feeding wise he is still a bit of a milk monster. I am I'm literally waiting for the day when you know when they feed and they feed because I'm still breastfeeding um they feed and they feed for 10-15 minutes and they get all they need. I still have to sit for up to an hour just going and going and going and He's had days where he wants to feed through the night so it messes up my supply and I'm like really sore the next night and he doesn't wake up and yeah it's a bit all over the place but he is still a very hungry baby which is good because he's gaining weight and especially with his silent reflux it's a good thing that he's gaining weight and he's feeding a lot. In terms of the actual breastfeeding he's a lot more fidgety, he 
um, pulls off a lot more and he looks around and he grabs my face and he scratches me. <laughs> it's a delight, it really is. I'm out and about, it's a bit of a pain, so I'm trying to use covers, but that's not really working. I got sent a couple of these gorgeous ones from Elderflower and Delilah. They got in touch on Instagram and I feel really bad because I've not been able to use them because he literally will not feed under a cover, but they're so pretty. They come in a lovely bag like this and then they're just a lovely, very, very soft um, bit of material kind of top thing that you put on and then you can feed underneath but he just doesn't let me unfortunately so I might give it another go but yeah you just put your head through there and then there you go. What I tend to do is have a vest on underneath sort of a baggy or top or jumper so I have like a feeding vest like this one and then I just sort of have it down and have him and have it over and so that kind of covers but because he's being a lot more fidgety it's a pain so I'm going to keep trying with the covers. His silent reflux so we seem to be on a bit of an even keel at the moment we had to go to the doctors and get his uh, medicine up a little bit his ranitidine but touch wood we've been quite sort of level at the moment so yeah it's still the ranitidine and the infant gaviscon and I'm giving him probiotic drops as well and yeah that's all we're doing and it seems to be working so milestones he's almost rolling over you're still not quite there and you don't really like tummy time do you hey i think it's only a matter of time before we see teeth because we're getting lots of dribbling lots of angriness lots of bad nappies so i think some teeth are on the way he is so much better at picking things up now and he'll almost grab things out of your hand and he's so alert really interested in everything so that's it really no when you're crawling things he likes so he loves his changing mat you can always get really good smiles out of him on his changing mat he loves getting his bottom changed yes you do wooden sensory toys so things like his caterpillar and sort of the wooden bits on there he's liking probably all to do with teething we've got lots of violet bricks that he likes to hold because they're nice and big he loves having a chat he loves us chatting away to him or singing we've been doing lots of row row your boat and things like that and he's really enjoying it now he's a lot more engaged and sort of looking at you and interested in what you're up to and he's really loving isle at the moment which is really lovely things he's not liking still are dummy sleep and car seat those are the three things so yeah, that's about it for this sort of four month, almost five month update. I'll do the five one probably in a couple of weeks so that, probably not even that, in a week or so just so that it's all more fresher in my mind and I'm back on track. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.